Each day, Tesla sells more and more of their increasingly popular cars. While they come feature-packed, there are always little ways to improve or optimize your Tesla experience to your liking without too much cost. Certain accessories are must-haves from day one with your new Tesla Model 3 or Model Y, while others will only appeal to some people. A few of these accessories differ between the Model 3 and Y, so I'll be sure to detail the differences and link the proper accessory for each car below if necessary. I own both of these cars, have bought accessories for both, and I'm going to break down the ones I recommend the most for you. Everything I mention will be linked in order in the description for easy access, so let's get into it. To start off with, let's get right into it with accessory number one, which will always be number one for me, a screen protector. With any Tesla, and especially the Model 3 and Y, your screen controls most of what you do in the car. Almost all controls happen on the beautiful 15-inch screen included in the Model 3 and Y, and if anything were to happen to it, it would be a necessary and expensive repair. It's a strong glass screen, just like most smartphones, but it's always a good idea to protect that screen, and it comes with other advantages as well. In my Model Y, I have the Elon Accessories screen protector, and the the bottom right corner has actually cracked, I just recently noticed this. I don't know how this happened, but I'm very glad that the screen protector is what cracked and not the screen itself from whatever hit that and cracked it. It's very cheap to replace this screen protector instead of the screen. In my Model 3, I went with a cheaper screen protector from Amazon that I'll link below, and it has worked out just as well so far. It's not supporting a small business like Elon Accessories, but it gets the job done. The other reason to get a screen protector is to keep the screen clean. The default screen is a fingerprint magnet, and those fingerprints don't stick nearly as much with the screen protector. Additionally, with a matte screen protector, glare is drastically reduced on the screen. Overall, it's a great purchase to protect your screen, make it easier to clean, and help you avoid fingerprints and glare. The next accessory is another essential, all-weather floor mats. Teslas come with cheap cloth floor mats, and some configurations don't come with mats at all. They are basic floor mats that require shampooing to truly clean, and will end up getting wet or muddy if you're in anything but sunny weather. All-weather floor mats from any brand can typically be a good option, but the best mats for Teslas I've found come from 3D Max Spider. These are specifically designed for the Model 3 and Y separately and do a really great job. They have a great texture that traps dirt and water, prevents water from sloshing around, but also has a soft feel. They function like all-weather floor mats, but don't feel hard and rubbery on your feet in the car. I found them to be very easy to vacuum or wipe down with interior spray as well. They sell a variety of packs for these mats. You can simply buy the mats for the front and rear seats, or you can buy a number of others on top of that. They all work great. I have the complete package in my Model Y, including a mat for the rear trunk, mat for both under storage compartments, mat for the front trunk, and inserts for the side cubbies. They all work great, but 3D Max Pider also recently solved another issue here. For me, I fold the rear seats down often to load in cargo. I would load cargo into the trunk and it would be resting on the trunk floor mat, but then resting on the back of the rear seats with no protection there. To remedy this, I bought these mats that attach to the back of the rear seats in the Model Y. This allows me to load in cargo and have complete protection for the interior of my car. I highly recommend buying the full package of all mats in the Model Y as they work great and protect the car, but of course there are other options as well linked in the description below. They are fantastic in both the Model 3 and Model Y. Next up is an accessory that's fun to have but not essential. It's also one I recently got, a neck and back massager with heat. This neck and back massager attaches to the headrest, plugs into the 12 volt plug in the armrest of the Model 3 and Y, and will function as a partial pillow and neck massager. You can turn on various speeds, directions, and heat settings, and I will admit it's much better than I expected. I ordered it for fun, expecting that I would make fun of it in this video, but it's actually pretty satisfying to use. It's also not that expensive. I will say, though, this should be something that you only use when parked. Maybe you can get a nice neck massage while parked at a supercharger and watching something on screen. Having been recently rear-ended in my Model Y, and you can check out that video up here if you haven't seen it yet, I know that you definitely don't want to have massage your heads digging into you in the case of an accident. So definitely don't buy this and use it while you drive, but use it while you are parked. The next accessory I recommend is one that no longer applies to the Model Y as shipped from Tesla. Tesla updated the Model Y to include a HEPA filtration system, but before that, and still shipping in the Model 3, they include more standard cabin filters. When it comes time to replace these, you can buy them from Tesla, but these third-party HEPA filters do a great job of giving you better filtration than standard filters. Again, these will apply for all new Model 3 purchases, but not new Model Y purchases.
purchases as of filming this video. They aren't the easiest to install, but you can save yourself some time and money by installing these yourself, and you'll get air filtration closer to Tesla's official bioweapon defense mode in cars that don't include that. These can help with smell, but another product that can also help with that is Scent Wedge. Scent Wedge makes natural air fresheners that fit perfectly into the invisible AC strip on the Model 3 and Y. They also make air fresheners for the rear vents as well. They have a number of different scents, ranging from Big Sur to Coastal Forest, and for each freshener kit they sell, they plant a tree. They smell far better than normal car air fresheners, are sustainably sourced, and actually help the environment. They also make your car smell good while being completely hidden from view. You can check out Scent Wedge, linked below, and they have a lot of great scents to choose from. For me, they're the air fresheners for Teslas. Next up is an essential accessory for anyone living in areas that require a front license plate on your car. Teslas are not designed with front license plates in mind, but they are legally required in many areas. Tesla includes a front plate bracket with the Model 3 and Y that sticks on with 3M tape, but once it's on there, it's not something you're going to want to take off. This can harm the paint or the PPF if you have that on your car. That's where the Quick Bandit comes into play. The Quick Bandit is a well-made accessory that attaches to the front grille of the Model 3 and Y and puts your front license plate in the correct position. The design is slightly different for each car, so be sure to order the correct one linked below. In any case, the Quick Bandit makes it very easy to put your license plate on and then remove it when you want to. For myself, I film a lot with these cars, so I remove the Quick Bandit for filming and then put it back on after. There's also a security screw included to lock the plate in beyond the built-in lever and prevent anything from happening to it. I have this on both my Model 3 and Model Y, and it's served me well on both cars. If a front plate is legally required where you live, it's a huge improvement over the bracket Tesla includes with your car. Next up is another new accessory to me, a water bottle holder for the cup holder. I'm a water bottle drinker and carry my large 32 ounce bottle with me everywhere I go. Teslas include cup holders and bottle holders in the side pockets of the doors that are standard size and work great for normal size things, but not my large water bottle. There really is actually no place to put it in the Model 3 or Y as well, and it will just end up rolling around. For this, I bought a 32 ounce water bottle holder for the cup holder that works great. You screw it into the normal cup holder and then you're good to go. It perfectly holds my 32 ounce water bottle and happens to be just small enough that you can still use the other cup holder next to it without issue. It's absolutely not an attractive accessory in any way and definitely doesn't improve the look of the interior of your Tesla like some of the other accessories we talk about will. But for me, it has been the exact function that I've needed. It also has flaps on the inside that make it so a normal size cup can go in there and stay secure. When I don't have a bottle, I can use this with normal cups and they won't end up moving around. It's linked below. If you don't plan on using this though, a cup holder insert is a great option as well. I have this for the Model 3 and it's a great way to protect the OEM cup holders and make it far easier to clean them. This cup holder insert goes right into the cup holders, stays put when needed, but is easily replaceable and easy to clean. Next up are a few accessories for people looking to maximize storage in their car. Thanks to the Model 3 and Y being all electric, there is a good deal of storage. In the Model Y in particular, since it's basically a sized up Model 3, there are all sorts of areas you can store stuff. First is the center console. The center console is deep along with the storage under the armrest in both of these cars, and these center console organizers do a great job. The refreshed Model S comes with a compartment that slides around and gives you a bunch of various storage options, but the Model 3 and Y don't have that. These organizers organizers seem to do the trick though for pretty cheap. These organizers are designed for version 2 of the Tesla Center console that Tesla currently ships, and they divide everything perfectly. This organizer goes under the sliding drawer, gives you smaller options and compartments, and then itself can slide forward and out of the way of the rest of the space beneath it. It feels like something the car could have actually come with because it integrates so well. Then there is an armrest console organizer that fits right there and can keep smaller objects close by. They come in a package together and it's linked below. A new accessory to me are these under seat storage containers. The Model Y seats are Model 3 seats sitting on risers, so there's actually a good deal of storage available under these seats. The only issue is that this extra storage passes through to the other side and to the rear seats, so nothing really stays put while you're driving. That's where these under seat storage containers come into play. They slide under the front seats and stay put. You can store whatever you like in there, like an umbrella, charging cables, or anything else that will fit, and there is a good amount of storage available under each seat with these. They 
They easily slide in and out and have worked great in my experience so far. It's a great way to utilize the extra under seat space in the Model Y. One thing I did notice is that if your front seat is adjusted very low, you can't slide these out or in without it catching on the 3D Max Pider floor mats, but if you raise the seat up to what I think most people do in this car, it's no issue. I don't have an issue getting them in or out with or without my floor mats. In a similar vein to this comes a storage container for rear passengers in the Model Y. This rear seat storage organizer velcros into the gap between the rear seats right under the center console and can hold a variety of different things. You can also remove and replace the centerpiece if you want to treat that as a little mini trash can for rear passengers. This could come in especially handy if you frequently have rear passengers or want to store things in the car close by but out of sight for you as the driver. Then there are some storage optimization and organization accessories. In the Model 3 and Y, the glove box is small and just includes one area to put everything you put in there. This simple but effective glove box organizer gives you a bunch of different options. For me, I can put all manuals and documents in the lower section, store my J1772 converter and lock in the side, and then put things like a portable phone charger in the top of it. When I opened this accessory, I kind of laughed because I thought it was something far too cheap ever to recommend, but it fits perfectly inside the glove box and is now something I'll be buying for both of my cars. The side cubbies in the Model Y are great, and in particular give you some deep but small storage for things like drinks. Unfortunately, the interior isn't something that could get wet for a long period of time, and even with the 3D Max Spider inserts, you could run into issues there. That's where these Model Y trunk side storage bins come into play. They fit perfectly in the side cubbies, give you deep storage that is plastic and fully protects the interior, and also creates a shelf above them. They blend in perfectly to the interior, but you can lift that lid and then use the plastic storage beneath to put whatever you need in there. Another very simple but very effective accessory. Another location that's great for storage is the front trunk, but again, it's just a big space. If you specifically like putting small things into the front trunk, this front trunk organizer could be perfect for you. It has a large pocket in the middle and then five other compartments that can make it super easy to store a lot in your front trunk and keep it organized. Again, it also helps protect the front trunk itself since you can easily clean this plastic insert if anything were to spill. One very simple but effective accessory for the Model 3 only is a grocery bag hook. In the trunk, you can use the under storage compartment to prevent things from rolling around when driving, but you can also use this hook to hang your groceries and keep them stationary. This metal hook is simple and screws into a screw that is already present on the upper part of the Model 3's trunk and will hold your grocery bags for you. The Model Y doesn't have this screw since it's a hatchback, so this accessory is only for the Model 3 and it's linked below. To finish out storage optimization comes side door organizers. These are available for both the Model Y and Model 3. These insert into the side door wells in the front and rear doors of the Model 3 and Y and give you added organization there. The cup holder is separate from the rest of the storage located there and can really give you many more options to store things and keep them organized when driving. You can also remove these and clean them when needed, which protects the doors themselves. The Model Y has the most opportunity for storage optimization, and if you tend to want a lot of things on hand in your car, all of these accessories can have a huge impact. A few of those things are also available for the Model 3, and all of those for both cars are linked in the description below. Next up is an accessory that can improve looks on the Model 3 and Model Y inside. The standard interior of both of these cars includes the wood panel on the dash. For myself, I don't really like the look of this wood and prefer to have it match the rest of the dash. Some people choose to wrap this wood piece, and especially with the new wood accents extending into the doors, this can make a lot of sense. But wrapping is extremely difficult and time consuming to do yourself. That's why I went with this dashboard cap cover. This is made for the Model 3 and Model Y, both linked below, and it's a plastic cap that covers the wood of the dash and attaches with 3M tape. It has worked out great for me so far and took about 1 20th the time it would have taken me to wrap the wood on the dash in the Model Y. The only thing I've noticed so far is that it's coming up a bit on one side. I only notice it when I look for it specifically, but eventually I may need to reattach it with more 3M tape if it comes off further. Next up is a fun accessory that I just bought, just to see, an armrest cover. This armrest cover wraps around the armrest of the Model 3 and Y, adds a much different leather look, and adds some more cushioning. If you find the armrest to be too firm in the Model 3 and Y, this could solve your issue, but for me, I just think it's kind of silly. I wanted to try it out and review it for this video, but ultimately I found it to look too weird for me to use. If it's for you though, that's great, and it is linked below. Next up is an accessory for looks, 
performance pedals. The Model 3 and Y performance models include performance pedals, but if you want the same look in your standard or long range Model 3 or Y, you can get it with these pedal covers. They stay on well and can be replaced for cheap if anything ever happens to them. Next are a few accessories to help you keep your car clean. For washing your Tesla, you'll want to be extremely careful and use a proper two bucket wash setup if you can. Linked below is that two bucket wash setup along with the pressure washer and foam cannon I use. They have worked out great for me and I use car shampoos from Chemical Guys when washing. Then for maintenance cleaning, I recommend a number of different cleaners for my interior and exterior. For myself, I use the waterless wash from Chemical Guys along with a detailer, window cleaner, and interior cleaner. After wash is also great for helping get rid of water spots and for all of the above, you're going to want to use nice soft microfiber towels to avoid scratching. This is what I've used for a while, but a new package of equivalent cleaners is available now as well. I bought this package recently and it includes an interior cleaner, car wash shampoo, waterless car wash, and glass cleaner. These are all essentials, so it's great that they now come in a starter kit package. It can be easier for a lot of people just to buy this, especially to get started, as opposed to buying individual Chemical Guys products, and both are linked in the description below. For keeping your interior free of trash, I have now tried two different trash can options, both of which are pretty useful and fun. This first one is a funny Cybertruck inspired trash can that fits into whatever cup holder you want to put it in. I personally place this in the door pocket, and it's a simple but useful trash can for small things like receipts, scraps, or tissue. If you need a bigger or more versatile trash can, but still want it to feel like it was made for your Model 3 or Y, you can check out this trash can that clips onto the rear pockets of the seats. This trash can is small and wide, has the Tesla logo on it, and includes a bunch of replacement bags. A couple more quick accessories that have served me well include the J1772 lock, SSD drive, sunglasses holder, and center console cover. The J1772 lock makes it so that someone can't simply come unplug your car from the adapter when charging at a J1772 charger. This lock is a simple 3D printed plastic piece that keeps the charger connected to the adapter, which is then locked into your car. For sentry mode and dash cam on the Model 3 and Y, Tesla includes a flash drive now standard. In the past though, they didn't include a drive at all, which led me to purchase this SSD from Pure Tesla. Solid state drives are more reliable and have more space, which ensures your footage is safe. So this drive is a necessity on older Model 3s and Ys without an included drive, but can also be a great upgrade from the drive that Tesla includes standard. I'll also link a similar cheaper SSD in the description below. For my sunglasses, I like to keep them close by when needed, and this sunglasses holder has been great. It attaches to the back of the screen and really blends into the dash of the Model 3 or Y. When I drive, I can't see it, but I just reach over and pull my sunglasses out. Then, if you happen to have the older center console like me on my Model Y, I recommend these matte covers. They get rid of the gloss shine of the center console, protect these pieces, and just look better overall. They're plastic pieces that install very easily with 3M tape, and I much prefer this to wrapping the center console. Last up are a couple of great accessories that could be great for you depending on your needs. First is a cargo cover for the Model Y. This is something that Tesla has reportedly been adding to the Model Y in China, but we haven't seen it yet, meaning that there is no cargo cover available on the Model Y as shipped. A cargo cover allows you to hide your cargo in the trunk and helps secure it from flying forward in the event of a sudden stop. There are a few third-party options available that really do a good job and don't require much installation. Then if you need them, mud flaps for the Model Y can be great for you. Tesla doesn't include mud flaps, but this might just be what you need if you live somewhere outside of California, which many people do. As you can see, there are a ton of options for Tesla accessories when buying a Model 3 or Y. For me, I feel that I included all of the essentials here, plus some things that will generally make your experience better. Again, everything was linked in the description below for easy access and in order as I put it in this video, and I hope this was helpful for you. If it were me and I just bought a new Tesla, I would start out with the screen protector, complete set of floor mats, and a number of storage options that I talked about. In the meantime, if you want to see my full review of the Model Y after 20 months, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.